Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Faith Connection 777. This is going to be a general reading for you guys for the month of August 2020. Hope you are doing well. This is going to be a general reading, so not all of the messages will resonate for you. If they do, please like, share, and subscribe, okay? Let's see what's coming up for Sagittarius, August 2020. Okay. <laughs> we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Interesting. Sagittarius. We have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay. Love it so far. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay. May have been an imbalance in the past for you where you would uh, give too much in a relationship and not give to yourself first. So what we're going to do is get into the tarot. Recent past, current energies, and immediate future for Sagittarius, August 2020. Let's find out what's going on with you, Sagittarius. Um, typically, I read, you know, anything. Love, career, family, partnerships. So keep that in mind as the cards come through. I just, I just know that... This is probably going to be a love relationship reading, okay? <laughs> Take it how it resonates, though, okay? Let's get right into it. Recent past, current energy, and immediate future for Sagittarius, Two of Swords. Recent past, some kind of crossroads you were at in your life. Okay, <laughs> Knight of Cups you pursuing someone romantically or they were pursuing you we also have the page of cups some kind of dreaming about the future with this person wondering if things are going to be current energy current energies for sagittarius okay we have I'll take these as well. We have judgment. Okay. Major arcana. Uh, we have the fool card, a brand new beginning. And then we have the ten of cups. Okay. Some kind of uh, really happy feeling right now. Okay. Um, feeling like perhaps understanding the depth of your connection with someone. Okay. A happy new beginning here. Okay, current energy, we'll get two more. Oops, we have the hermit. Okay, spending time thinking through things, spending time to yourself, okay. Um, eight of swords, in, in your head about this relationship, okay. It feels like you're just thinking about whether or not this is going to work out with this person. But we will get an I'll get another tarot deck to clarify. Okay. Immediate future. Four of Wands. Okay. Happy, stable family life. Very nice. What else, Barry? What else? Okay, we've got the seven of cups. Perhaps um Planning and but not knowing what is going to happen, but just kind of trying to, I guess, use your best guess of what's going to happen in your life. You're kind of, you want to plan ahead, but you don't know if you should or can with this person. We have the Ten of Swords. There's some kind of um, major hurt here, okay? We have at the bottom of the deck the Ace of Swords, okay? But I will get into it and clarify what's happening. Sagittarius, what is going on? That was the Light Seers Tarot. Oops. And now this is the Mystic Mondays Tarot. Spirit, let me know what is going on here, okay? I've already pre-shuffled these decks, so I'm just going to kind of give a refresher here. Ah. 
Okay, let's see. What do we want to clarify here? Um, hmm. It just feels like in your recent past with this Two of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Page of Cups, you you were at a crossroads with someone, okay? You didn't know whether or not things were going to work out, but you had hopes that it would, okay? You're very uh, passionate about this person. You're romantically just, they light your fire, okay? They, um, they make you feel romantic okay they make you feel there's a strong love for this person okay um you're envisioning your future with them and you're trying to figure out whether or not it's going to work out and so you're kind of at this crossroads and then in the current energy you have the judgment card the fool the ten of cups there's some kind of new beginning with this person perhaps the same person a new kind of fresh happy feeling you're ha you're experiencing with them at this time and you may be feeling that there, there's some kind of really strong connection here, understanding the depth of this connection, um, understanding that in this connection really actually means something in your life, a very strong um, soulmate connection here, perhaps for some of you, okay? Uh, we have the Hermit card, you're, you're starting to be okay being alone okay and spending time on, with, by yourself thinking through your life and your path and what you're supposed to be doing i think there's a lot of reflection and you're okay being alone whereas before you may have been um really kind of stressed out to be by yourself it's like you feel like you may have needed to have someone in your life at all times and so you may have had a past where you were going from one relationship to the next without really giving it time between relationships. That's for a lot of you here. And so you're really learning to be happy on your own. Okay. Um, you're in your head about this situation too. There's like a little bit of like, it feels like there might be some doubt that things are going to work out between you. And so really what I'm getting here is like some kind of, it's almost like a repeating pattern you have in your own mind where you are um, self-sabotaging, okay? There's a really great potential with this person who's very stable, love, a passionate, stable, love, a happy home environment in the immediate future here, but yet you're in your head thinking whether or not this is really going to work out like you want it to, okay? So um, in the immediate future, you have the Four of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. I really want to understand what's up with this Ten of Swords here. There's some kind of perhaps betrayal here. We have the Eight of Wands. Some kind of message will come forward, either in an email, a text message, or um, a phone call. Some kind of information is going to come forward that's going to hurt your feelings, perhaps, and make you feel like you're being stabbed in the back, okay? Oh, I'm going to take that one. What else, Spirit? Oops. There's an ending here. And then there's the King of Wands. I feel like this is you, this King of Wands energy, this fire sign. Uh, there's some kind of ending here with the world card, okay? Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. So for some of you, I feel like this person is your ultimate happiness and security. Um, you really want to make things happen with this person, but yet there's an ending here. Interesting. What's, in, what's the ending about, Spirit? What is this ending all about? Interesting. Perhaps in relation to your job, for some of you, something's coming to an ending in relation to your job. Um, what's this all about, Spirit? Ten of Cups. This is going to lead to your Ten of Cups, though. Okay. I feel like you're you're supposed to be on a path with this person that you're 
thinking about that you've been pursuing um, romantically, I feel like that there's some kind of, uh, if there's an ending here in relation to your job, maybe there's some kind of partnership that's going to make you really happy. Um, you know, it's a love and a work relationship. How cool is this? It feels like there might be some kind of, for many of you, if there's some kind of disappointment at work, it's really going to guide you toward what you're supposed to be doing here. Two of Swords. Yeah, it feels like you might be in a crossroads in relation to your job even and feeling like you could be serving humanity so much better in not what you're currently doing for a lot of you. Um, so we have a lot of uh, multiple things happening here. We have the devil, okay? There may have been some toxicity in this situation here that um, really needed to come to an end. And possibly, for a lot of you, this is you focusing on work and allowing space between yourself and this person that you, you know, are maybe guided to be with because you have this four of wands, this stable, happy family home. Spirit, tell me more about this four of wands. What's, what's this four of wands all about? Okay. We have the strength card. Okay. I think Spirit's just telling you to relax, that things are going to work out with this person. There may have been some betrayal and, in, in, you know, that there might be some kind of gossip or something that comes forward that um, it's going to make you feel really betrayed. Um, but, you know, I feel like this was in the past and the ending of this kind of toxicity that you have for a lot of you here, you're focusing on work. Uh, there could be an ending to some of your jobs to come into alignment with who you're supposed to be with and you work together. But then I think for many of you also, there's, uh, with this Ten of Cups, there's a, there's a happily ever after here in the future here. And um, if there is some kind of betrayal that's happened here or some kind of um, heavy energy that's making you feel lost, I guess, with this person, wondering whether or not you should continue with them. I feel like there, you really have the manifestation power to bring things together with this person or end the toxicity between the two of you. I know that sounds really vague, but it just feels like there's a lot of different, um, there's a lot of different energies playing in this, this realm here. You have the, the devil card, you have the king of wands, the eight of wands, like, just feels like some kind of message is going to come in that's going to trip you trip you up, okay? Um, and I feel like it's really going to bring you to a place where you need to make a decision, okay? Uh, then we have the Queen of Swords, okay? Feeling like you might need to cut cut this person out of your life for many of you, okay? Uh, what's this Ace of Swords about? So we have the Ace of Swords as the overall underlying energy here. Some kind of aha moment is going to happen for you. What's this all about, Spirit? What's this aha, aha moment about the Hanged Man? Um, timed. There's going to be some time where possibly you split up with this person and you're on your own again in the month of August. And then... You're left to think think things through about all that you've been through with this relationship and whether or not it's going to survive. And really, there's a lot of questioning about your true path, okay, in relation to work, in relation to your relationships, in relation to kind of the condition that the world is in at this time. It just feels like you're really at a crossroads. You're still in this crossroads energy of just trying to figure out which way to go, whether to continue in this relationship or to go your own separate ways. And um, there's very strong love for this person. You're just really in your head about what, what you should do. You know, currently you're really, really happy with this person. They're very, um, they make you really happy. You love being with them. Um, 
but then you know you're going to hear about something coming through about maybe somebody was you know talking still talking to somebody else while they're well while they're entertaining you perhaps that's going to hurt your feelings um yeah so it but you know that this person is your ten of cups you have the ten of cups twice okay this person is your happily ever after okay there's been a probably a lot of drama in the past in this relationship and so um you're really at a place where you're trying to figure out is this really the one I'm supposed to be with for the rest of my life? Or should I end this, okay? Should I just focus on work? Is my work contributing to who I truly am and what I want for my life, you know? Am I really contributing to, you know, my true destiny, what I'm supposed to be doing, okay? There's a lot of a comp contemplation happening here with his hanged man energy. And then you have the hermit as well. Lots of in your head, thinking things through, trying to figure it out, <laughs> okay? Um, but, you know, then I feel drawn to the cards that we had initially come out as you, you're getting to know each other. There's some kind of higher level of commitment happening here, okay? Um, but you're definitely taking a time out to love yourself first, okay? You're going to spend time focusing on what you need getting your ducks in a row and really evaluating what you want for your life okay um there's with this four of wands coming out in your immediate future and then I, it was clarified by this strength card it, it, it just feels like you need to calmly keep moving forward with what you're doing you're on the right track here you're spending time thinking lots of thinking is happening you know that you need to put the past behind you if you're going to make things work with this person. And so you are just really trying to understand what you need to do to put away this toxicity, okay? For some many of you, there can be some, some bad vibes that you had between the two of you in the earlier stages of your relationship. And you just, you need, you want that toxicity to end. You need it to end in order to move forward. And um, it's possible for some of you, this could be an ending of this relationship, but for many of you, it could be the, um, you know, the love of a lifetime here. A lot of, engage like, there could be some engagement happening here, <laughs> like full-on proposals happening um, towards this, the end of the month here is what I'm sensing for a lot of you. Um, yeah, I know that, you know, like, it's just been a struggle. This relationship has been a struggle. And so you really are understanding what it is to be happy and comfortable being by yourself and, and feeling comfortable with that. And it's really going to help you uh, get rid of some of the toxic energy that you've had between the two of you. There, there may have been some jealousy and some, um, you know, some some controlling kind of behavior or perhaps just feeling really insecure in this relationship in the past but it feels like things are evolving both with you and with them and um, it's really going to lead to perhaps a ha happily ever after for a lot of you okay wow this is a very cool reading very strong reading all of the readings for Sagittarius I've been having lately have been really strong there's a really uh, a strong love you have for this person they're very um they're they're ha you're happily ever after they're really just make you happy you love to be with them and so looks like it's going to work out for a lot of you here okay okay sagittarius so it's, that's what i have for you please feel free to comment i will we'll, ah, i will reply as quickly as i can and please like share and subscribe okay guys i'll see you in the next video take care bye